So first you're gonna wanna take your garlic cloves and you're gonna unpeel them and then you're gonna wanna take the last layer of skin off by crushing them under your knife. And once you have it peeled, you're gonna put it in the mincer. And once you have minced up well enough, you're gonna put it with the rest of them and you're gonna want about that much. So now you're gonna wanna take some olive oil and put it on the spoon. And you're just going to want to put a little bit on each piece of the bread and then spread it around. So you're also going to want to take some garlic salt and just put it on that. And then you're going to want to take some garlic cloves and just put it on top. So these are going to get roasted. So you're also going to want to put some butter on it and then you're going to want to take some Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle it on top. So next you're going to want to preheat your oven to 375. I want to put some olive oil in a big pan and this is for the sauce. So next you're going to want to put a pot of boiling water on and then we're going to start our sauce. Once the oil gets hot enough and it starts to boil, you're going to want to put your garlic cloves in. So olive oil is heating up and the oven's preheating for the garlic bread. We're going to want to start our salad. So I already have mixed greens in the bowl and we're going to add cucumbers, tomatoes, and avocados. You're going to want to slice the cucumbers very thin. So now that our cucumbers are done and in the bowl, we're going to start our tomatoes. So you're going to want to make four slices. And you're going to want to take them and chop them into thin slices. So now we're going to want to chop them the other way. And we're going to get them into little small chunks. Now you're going to want to cut your avocado and you're going to want to cut it down the middle this way. And once you cut all the way around, you're going to open it take the inside the middle out so now you're going to want to take your avocado and make cuts this way and this way and then you're going to want to take it and scoop it out into your bowl so now that our salad's done we're going to want to put our minced garlic into the oil but be careful because it's going to splatter a lot so you're going to want to be careful with that and then you just want to want to take it and mix it around until it's light brown. So now that our garlic is minced and sauteed, we're going to want to take it and smush the tomatoes down. I want to take some basil for our sauce and we're going to want to chop it up into really small pieces. So now we're going to want to take our basil and our parsley and mince them. So we're going to take our parsley and our basil and sprinkle it in the sauce and then mix it in. So now we're gonna wanna take our chicken and we're gonna wanna pound it out. So now that our chicken is pounded out, we're gonna wanna take each piece and lay it in the eggs. And it's just two eggs right here. And then we're gonna wanna take it, fit in some breadcrumbs. So now we're gonna wanna take our chicken, now that it's breaded, beat out, and have some eggs on it. We're going to want to take our chicken and put it in the oven. And halfway through, we're going to want to take our chicken out, put sauce and cheese on it, and stick it back in. So we're going to want to mix our sauce sometimes, but not going to want to mix it for a long period of time. We're just going to want to make sure it's nice and thick. It's not thick enough right now, but once it's thick enough, we'll take it out and put some cheese in it. We're going to want to pour our pasta in. Once it's in for about 30 seconds, we're going to want to start smushing it down. We're not going to want to break a pasta in half because that will ruin it, but it's going to get softer at the bottom so it can bend and the whole stick can go in. So since the cheesy garlic bread is appetizer, you're going to want to put it in, but you're not going to want to put it in at the beginning because you don't want it to come out way before the chicken and everything else. So after you strain the pasta, you're going to want to take your chicken out and you're going to want to put sauce and cheese on it and then put it back in the oven. So now you're going to want to take your mozzarella and you're going to want to cut it into slices so you can put it on top of your chicken. You can cut the cheese slices like depending on how much cheese you want on. So I cut them pretty medium size so I'm going to put two on each piece of chicken. And on the bigger pieces I'm going to put three. So now you're going to want to put this back in and you can take your garlic bread out in probably two minutes. So once your sauce 
is done. It should be pretty thick, like about this thick. And I didn't make a lot of sauce, but you can make as much as you want, like depending on the can size. So you're gonna wanna take your sauce and you're gonna wanna bring it to a bowl where you have cheese and you're gonna wanna pour it in. So now you're gonna wanna take out your cheesy garlic bread and when you take it out, you're gonna want it to be melted and nice and crisp. Now you're gonna wanna take your pasta and put it into a big bowl. So you're gonna wanna set the table properly. You're gonna wanna put a big plate. Then above the two forks, you're gonna have a small fork and a big fork. And on the left of the forks, you're gonna wanna have a napkin. And above that, you're gonna wanna have a plate for your bread and a butter knife. Then over here, you're gonna wanna have your spoon on the right and your knife on the left. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 and we're starting with chocolate chip cookies right now. So we're gonna come over and the first step is you're gonna wanna cream together butter, white sugar, and brown sugar. And you're gonna wanna have a cup of what butter, which is two sticks, and then you're gonna wanna have a cup of white sugar and a cup of brown sugar. So now we have all our ingredients in the bowl. We have the butter, the brown sugar, and the white sugar, and we're gonna cream until smooth. So now we are going to take two eggs and crack them in and just beat them into the mix. So now you're going to want to take your vanilla extract and put two teaspoons in and then stir it in. So now we're going to dissolve our baking soda. So you're going to want to take one teaspoon of baking soda and put it in a little bowl. Then you're going to want to go over to your tap water and turn it on as hot as it goes. And then you're going to want to fill and put two teaspoons of the hot tap water in your bowl and then you're going to want to take it and mix it up and then you're going to want to pour it in you're going to want to add a half teaspoon of salt so now you're going to want to put three cups of flour in and mix that in Now you're gonna want two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So once the chocolate chips are in, you're just gonna wanna mix them around. And then after you're done with that, you're just gonna put them on the pan. So once you finish that, you're gonna wanna bring it onto an ungreased pan. And you're gonna wanna put maybe three rows and you're gonna wanna separate them very well because when they ex they're gonna expand and you don't want them to attach to each other. When you get them on the pan, after you're gonna put them in the oven for maybe about 10, 15 minutes, you're gonna want the sides to be nice golden brown. So now you're gonna wanna take your cookies and put them on the top shelf in your oven. And sometimes the pans are too big, so you have to put them on two separate shelves. And you're gonna wanna set a timer for about 10 minutes. Alexa, set a 10 minute timer.